Hey guys, it's Jesse from Project FDL. This is the first in a series of videos talking about how to get your FDL2 hooked up to Wi-Fi, how to flash new code to it in preparation for getting connected to the FDL2 web app, uh, and then I'm going to take this FDL2 that you see and I'm going to eventually upgrade it to an FDL2+. Plus. But first we're going to focus on getting the FDL2 hooked up to your Wi-Fi network. For a little bit of background, the particle photon is actually an Internet of Things device. So what does that mean? The photon, which is the brains of the FDL2, actually talks up to a cloud platform that Particle has put together. So the photon talks up to the cloud platform, and then you build a web app or a web page like I've built for the FDL2, which then talks to that cloud platform, and then the cloud platform actually communicates with the photon itself. The really cool advantage of this is in the case of something like a smart light bulb or you know, an HVAC system, you can have multiple devices all talking to the particle platform uh, and then through a web app you could turn all of them or some of them on and off simultaneously. It's a really cool platform and it really comes into play with the FDL2 in case you want to use the web app on your phone while you're playing or at home or wherever you are with Wi-Fi. So first things first, we need to set up a particle account. Now, I've already set up an account, so I'm not going to walk through all of the steps that take to actually set up an account. Um, but we are on the particle site right now, which is www.particle.io. Um, there's lots of information here about particle in general, about their different hardware, um, and various other things. What we want to do, though, is click on login. So this takes you to the login page. If you haven't created an account yet, there's a create account link here that'll take you through the process of creating your own account. You enter in your email, a password, all the good stuff. Okay, now that we have logged into Particle's site, let's go ahead and crack the FDL2 open. Uh, so on the back, there are screws on either side of the case here. All you have to do is loosen these up so that the case is free of those two screws. Once you do that, carefully pull the top off. There is a wire here that connects to the voltmeter. Be careful not to tug on that. You should be able to pull it a little bit out of the way so that it hangs next to it. Now, what you see inside of your FDL2 may be a little different. This one is actually a little bit older, so it has some of the older style JST connectors on there. Um, for the sake of this video, uh, it really doesn't matter. Um, so what we're going to do so we're going to turn the FDL2 on. It's hard to see through the wires here, but you'll see a white pulsating light. So a white pulsating light means that the code on the particle photon is running, um, but it is not hooked up to Wi-Fi. Um, so what we're going to do, this connector right here at the top, which is next to the three pin connector, we need to jump that connector. And what's that, what that's going to do is going to tell the photon to start trying to connect to Wi-Fi. So I've got a little mini jumper. You could use any number of things. A wire just jumped across the two pins or even a little screwdriver. Just all you have to do is jump it real quick and it'll try to attach to Wi-Fi. So I'm going to throw this jumper across here. And the second I do that, it starts flashing green. Now this FDL2 has already been hooked up to Wi-Fi before. So it started flashing cyan and it eventually lands on a slow pulsating cyan, which means that it's actually hooked up to my Wi-Fi. Um, in your case, it will most likely just blink green. It may blink slower and faster, but that is it trying to connect to Wi-Fi, but ultimately it's not going to be able to because your Wi-Fi network is not set up on it. Um, so we need to get the photon claimed on your particle account. So your particle account is going to have a list of every device that is associated with that account. You could have multiple photons, there's also different hardware types that Particle produces. Those could all show up on your account too, but you need to associate the, the device with your account before you can do anything with it. Okay, so on the back of the photon there are two buttons. The button towards the top of the FDL2 is the setup button. What you want to do is press and hold that button for three seconds and then let go and it'll start 
blinking a blue light that is a little bit darker than the light that was there before. The photon is now in a setup mode, so it's waiting for you to tell it what to do, whether to send it um, Wi-Fi credentials or whatever needs to happen for you to claim that photon to your account. So this is the Particle app. The Particle app is available from both the Google Store and the iPhone Store. It's available on both of the types of devices. Um, and this is what you're going to use to set up your Photon on Wi-Fi. Uh, so first things first, there is a button down in the corner here that is a plus sign. Click Set Up Photon. Uh, it'll say a couple things. It says, please power on your Photon by plugging it in. The indicator light should blink blue. It is blinking blue. Make sure that your Android device is connected to the internet. This is an Android device and it is currently not connected to the internet. So I'm going to log it into my internet here. When all that's ready, click ready. It'll bring up a list of photons that it sees that are in that setup status. Uh, this one, they will usually come up as photon dash and then four characters. So go ahead and choose the one that you want to set up. Now what it's going to do is it's actually going to disconnect your phone from Wi-Fi and try to connect it directly to the, pho the photon from your phone. This takes a little bit. If you're setting up a fresh photon out of the box, you won't see this message. Um, but if you've purchased an FDL2 from me and I've, I've set it up for you before, you're going to get a message that says change owner. This photon is owned by another user. So you want to change the owner. So what's happened is I have set the Photon up on my account. I have unclaimed the Photon from my account and put it into your blaster. So it's actually asking you to claim it away from my account, which is exactly what you want to do. Once you do that, it's going to scan for Wi-Fi networks. I'm going to choose mine and enter the password. Okay, once you log in, it'll go through this series of steps and it'll connect to the photon and then it'll try to connect the photon to the, the particle account that you set up previously. Now, this one is actually my son's FDL, so it's called Aiden FDL. This is your opportunity to change the name of it if you'd like. I'm just going to keep that one. There you go. So once you finish that, as it's going through those steps, you should see the light start to flash again, and it should flash green, and then it should flash cyan again, which means that it has connected to your Wi-Fi network, and it's good to go. Cool. So check out the next video in this series. We're going to talk about flashing code onto your Photon. Uh, which you'll need to do if you want to update the code on it or if you purchased your FDL2. Uh, early on it, when I was selling FDL2s, the web app code was not on there. Or if you're upgrading to an FDL2+, you'll have to do that as well. Thanks for watching.